Daniel and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, um, guidance, advice, and I'm continuing in our series of stories about the Seer of Lublin. Uh, this, uh, this particular story happened uh, uh, in the fall during the festival of Sukkot. In Christian Bibles, I think it's called the Feast of Tabernacles, where we build these little huts, these little booths, Sukkot, and we eat in them, we dwell in them. And one of the things that you do in a sukkah is you make the blessing over the uh, Ar uh, arbaminim, the, the three species, the palm, uh, the willow, the uh, the myrtle, the uh, the citron, the esrog. Um, one of his chassidim tell this story. One of uh, Nasir of Lublin's uh, uh, followers, one of his uh, close people. When the seer of Lublin went into the sukkah, he went to make the, the blessing over the, the four species. The lulav, the big, looks like a giant celery stalk, uh, the palm, the willow, and the myrtle. And on the other hand, you hold the, uh, the citron, looks like a big, ugly lemon. You hold them together and you make the, the blessing, the bracha, on the telos lulav. When the seer of Lublin was in the sukkah and he was about to make this, this blessing, he was preparing himself to make this blessing, he shook and moved quite violently. Anyone who saw them got the distinct impression that he was completely gripped in the awe of the Creator, the fear of God. And they took this as part of the service. This is how you do it. You shake and you move and you tremble as all leading up to the uh, leading up to the blessing. They figured this is how you do it. Um, this is how we do things the way our uh, our Rebbe, the Seer of Lublin, does it. This Chosid, the guy telling the story, he um, he didn't take the subsidiary for the essential. He um, he knew that this was uh, this was not part of the actual service. This was the seer of Lublin preparing for the service. So he waited. And um, he sat down and he waited until this restlessness, this anxiety, this trembling, this shuddering, this shaking would stop. And when the seer of Lublin actually got to the point where he was going to make the blessing when he was on the, the highest rung of spiritual madrega, this, this, this level he said the blessing motionlessly he stood there still as a statue and recited the heavenly blessing it is said that long ago, when Moses was out, was at um, Har Sinai, when he was on Mount Sinai um, to receive the, t the tablets, the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, the people at the, the foot of the mountain saw the lightning, heard the thunder, the, the tremendous blasts, and they were frightened smoking mountain, the collapse of thunder. They stood and they shuddered. But Moses himself, he did not heed the thunder and the lightning and the smoking mountain. He approached the cloud He was very still. He was very centered. He was very focused. And he approached the motionless cloud out of which God spoke to him. A lot of times when we're preparing for something, some people, they shuckle, they daven, this and that. You can be, you can get the wrong idea. Don't take the effect for the cause. Um, 
don't take the subsidiary for the essential. Um, you don't know what's going on in a person's mind and heart and soul. Um, these outward manifestations of what's going on inside, that's not the thing. It's what's going on inside. Um, try and keep that in mind. Um, we live in a world of senses. What we see, what we hear, what we can observe. And fine, a lot of people you know, do that, but they do it with truth. And when it comes right down to it, as it says in the Tanakh, be still and know that I am God. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.